right, guys, got another one. This is a 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Came back as a 350 under the hood. Power steering, power brakes. Looks like that AC compressor is there. We need to check it out, see if it works. Be going over the flaws, picking them out for you, like I do in all the test drive videos that I put out on YouTube. Check out maplemotors.com, financing and shipping, detailed pictures, and of course, hit subscribe and share. That'll help me out quite a bit. Guys, we get these cars in, we check them out, we take them back there, clean them up. Uh, we'll have one or two people drive them, testing out different things that may work or may not. And then according to that, we price them. We have a small markup. It's generally around three grand on all the cars across the board. So uh, I see y'all's comments. Y'all think we're marking them up 10, 15 grand. That's not us. That's why we go through 60 cars a month. Guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Let's check out the interior. It's pretty nice in here. The buzzer's working. Let's go ahead and start it up. This thing starts out good. She's still warming up, showing 75,000 miles. Could very well be true, but this is from 1972. So it's hard to stand behind mileage when dashes, miles could be rolled, and everything can be changed out. That's why I say mileage is unknown on most of these classic vehicles. Wipers do work. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? I got the turn signal on. I hear it. I don't see it. I see it there on the middle. The other side of that bolt must be out. It is clicking. Try the AC. Okay, we'll give it a second. It's got the blower motor seems to be good, but the switch there on high is not working. We'll leave that on a second and see if it gets nice and cool. It doesn't feel hot. It actually feels like it's on the cool side. Base of the radio is in the office. We keep that out of cars. Just, you know, keep people from destroying our vehicles over a radio. The interior looks good. Headliner is super clean on this one. Actually, you're going to see a video come out. So today is Friday before the update. That car, I did the video yesterday and it's sold today the customers are walking out right now they came in person and seen it i'll show you the video i'll mark it as sold since i've already spent the three hours making it and we'll get back to this one but it's a prime example of why i can't ever get actual 15 cars on the website we do get them in though okay Let's try this horn, are you ready? You know, I knew that this one didn't work because the customer placed a bet with me in the parking lot, but I told him I bet it worked. I was wrong myself. All right, gas gauge is good. Let's hit the road. And this cold AC is nice. It is working. Let's go. There we go. Seatbelt on. That idle down. Reverse. Is working. Neutral dry. Time to roll. Anything I see you'll know about it. This is the first time that I personally had test drove this vehicle. Already feels great. Pull it out just nice and smooth. Steering wheel's not straight on this one. See a little bit of a left pull there. When I let go of the steering wheel, it kind of fades, it comes back. Just a little bit. It's gradual though. Getting into the throttle now. Kick down so it's done, she's pulling strong. Back into our brakes. Everything seems to be nice and smooth right here. Back into our throttle, speedo is also working and steering. As soon as I turn, it turns, it's nice and tight. Hey, got a spot at the red light. Sweet. Cruising on through. 
Well, we don't need fuel today. So, we're gonna go ahead and hit the parking lot over here and check out the rest of the car. We'll look underneath it, we'll drive by the camera, we'll rev it up, check the lights all the way around. And then we'll head back to the lot and I'll do a segment called Digging Out the Flaws while I look for chip scratches and rust and dents. I haven't used this side of the parking lot in a while, so. Just gotta watch out for this giant manhole. Here we are. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Let's get some of these outside shots. Yeah, nice cold AC. I like it. Don't need it today, but I like it. Okay, it's time to roll out, guys. We'll head on back to the lot. I've enjoyed this test drive. It's nice and smooth. It's quiet inside. Everything seems to be working, except for the horn, which I was shocked about. I almost wonder if somebody had a different steering wheel on here because it is crooked when you're going straight. Or maybe they didn't hook it up. I don't hear any clicking other than the turn signal. And that bulb is out on the left turn signal. We're ready to roll here. Just nice and quiet, pure exhaust sound. Getting in the brakes. They stop just fine. Getting in the throttle. Oh, 
That's a one wheel pill right rear. Nice strong motor. What I like about this car is how tight everything feels. Steering smooth, brakes are on point, throttle feels good, interior's near perfect. There is flaws, I mean, I think it's a 1972 model. Suspension's nice and smooth, there's no rattles. Give her a listen, coming up. Just tight. But, I did the walk around, I picked out the flaws, I'm gonna put it here at the end of the video. This thing did have some chips, it did have some little scratches. I want you to see that stuff that is very important, uh, especially if you're trying to buy this car. They put me in this seat for a reason. We are all family again. These cars are priced accordingly to condition. And we do have a small markup, generally. We're 2,000 below the national average as well. That's why we sell so many rides. Guys, stick around, picking out the flaws, coming up right now. walk this ride any chip scratches rust dents that I find you'll know about it if you have any questions upon this walk you can give us a call and we'll talk to you about it talk through it and we just basically want you to be hundred percent comfortable with your purchase there's a chip there little cracks right there Spot here. And down the side here. Tires look great. Oh, we got some bug. Some bug guts. A little hair there. Man, so far this car's super clean. Well, these bottom panels look great for the year. Oh, there's a spot I spoke too soon. In the back here. And yes, we try to show it all. chip here in the front some dust on here slight pitting right there Paint run in the back here. Ding in the trim here. The roof looks awesome. Down your pillar. Kind of picking up there. Chipping your windshield. Coming up on the back here.
happened to the bottom of that reverse light. This one's nice and clean. It's got a crack up top though. Light little scuffs in the back bumper. Stain. Look at down in our trunk. You can see a lot of little dimples, maybe some rust was popping up. It was cleaned up, painted. Like this car it seems to be pretty solid a little rust up there coming down with the trunk lid Coming down this side. Got a rust bubble here. You got some runs there from the light. A little chip here. Back to mid section. Always feel around the vinyl top just to make sure I don't feel any bumps like rust, but this feels pretty smooth. And of course our back window looks nice. Trim is all good. This side of the windshield looks great. A little messed up there on the seal. Weather stripping's a little crumbly back here. A little bit of pitting. All right. We made it all the way around this ride. Let's go ahead and check out that interior. All right, let's jump off on the interior on this one. Looks like our door panel's in good shape. A little bit of pitting there in the handle. Hmm. Buzzer works, let's go ahead and start it up. Decent shape, a little dirt there. Got some speakers back here. And a tag.
package tray, headliner. We're good here. Interior is awesome on this. This car's not gonna last very long, guys. I can tell you that right now. Super clean all the way in and out and runs and drives awesome. With cold AC, power steering and power brakes. 350? Yeah. I'm surprised it lasted this long. But we haven't listed it, so. Not too many people have seen it. It's just sat in the back, back lot after we got it done. waiting to be posted to the website. Super quiet motor, everything's super clean. Little spots there. When I say super clean, it's super clean for the year model. Cause you do got a little spot right here up there it's got some style for sure guys i appreciate you watching be sure to hit subscribe and share this video i'm gonna head on back to the lot grab another car i'm going out of town in about a week and a half so i've got to get a lot probably about 20 test drives done from now to then let's go